Hey guys, it's me, Jello Pineda, your middle class sneakerhead, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite silhouettes or my favorite sneakers, and this is actually one of the most underrated. Let's go ahead and take a closer look on these Nike Air Tailwind 79 in black and white. Thank you so much for checking on this video today guys and I do hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Kung bago ka dito, make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and if matagal ka na rito tol, thank you very much for sticking with me. Ah uh, yeah, I apologize sa bosses ko. <coughs> yeah, of course, syempre, it does not stop us from making another sneaker video. And yes, another day, another sneaker and what I have here on hand, pinakita ko na to sa inyo last year pa. This is one of those sneakers na naregalo sa akin ng misses ko, and I never thought na maging magiging favorite ko siya, or it's gonna be one of the most favorite or sneakers na talagang frequently used. Without further ado, here is the Nike Air Tailwind 79. Bigaw na konting background. Actually, una ko nakita ang Air Tailwind 79 kay Boss RD nung first time ko pumunta sa bahay niya. May pinakita siya sa akin. Sabi niya, Sir Jello, this is the first uh, Nike sneaker na ng Air Technology. And I was like, Air Technology, it doesn't show it here. Wala siyang, wala siyang Air Technology. I mean, hindi, naka, hindi nakalabas. Yun pala, it does have Air Technology inside, pero hindi siya visible. So, ang first ever na Nike sneaker na nagkaroon ng visible air unit is the Air Max 1. Pero this one from 1979 already had the air bubble inside. So ako at first, I was like, oh okay. Kumbaga wala siya masyadong strike sa akin. Pero as time goes by, habang, habang pinapanood ko yung ibang videos, this sneaker got me very very interested with the way it looks. It's very versatile and it's very durable and in my opinion, very comfortable then. It doesn't have to be as soft as any other cushioning like React or whatnot. But it is very comfortable. And at the same time, it does remind me somehow of some uh, hype sneakers. You're getting a semi-hype look sneaker for a budget price. We only picked up at the SM for only for 4,500 pesos. If you've been following me on Instagram, it's at jellopineda underscore zero three. I've been posting pictures of me using this sneaker for like the whole December and dami kong mga pictures na ito yung gamit ko simply because no hype it's no problem ang ganda niya it's very simple it does not have any hype attached to it pag suot suot mo siya napaka pansinin niya even if it's just a simple black and white sneaker so let's go ahead and break down some materials for you so on the toe box you have nylon uppers although it does wrinkle already even nung bago ko pa siya nakuha medyo wrinkled na siya it's fine it does look a little like creases pero hindi siya it does straighten out if you want to is very flexible although it's not as breathable as uh, the usual sneaker moving back dito sa tongue you do have that nylon material as well and you do have a patch on the tongue with the nike logo embroidered now on the tongue itself you do have this deconstructed tongue as you can see over here dito ko na nakikita yung off-white vibes or yung off-white ish vibes easily change up the laces to have that sort of look to it on the mud guard of the sneaker you do have this felt like material or somewhat suede or rough suede-ish in my opinion. It does have the same materials wrapping around here on the laces. Moving to the lateral side of the sneaker, you have this leather swoosh in white and this one sort of looks like yung swoosh ng mga Nike blazer mids or lows. Parang ganun yung swoosh niya. And it does have the same thing on the lateral and the medial side. Moving back to the sneaker, you also have another hit of your felt-like material and you do have a leather back tab with the Nike branding in white. Moving to your midsole, you have this somewhat EVA midsole na hindi visible yung air unit na niya, but you do really feel it once you are using the sneaker. Kapag gamit mo siya, dun mo siya ma-appreciate na sobrang comfy niya. Hindi siya ganun kalambot. But of course, it still provides that comfort that you need in your daily walk. Ginamit ko to sa Baguio, no foot fatigue, no stress at all. As per fit, these guys fit through to size in my opinion. However, I went a half size up as usual because mas trip ko yung medyo may konting uh, toe room dito. Go through to size. But if you are on the wider side, I would suggest going half a size. Or actually, yung pinakamaganda dyan dahil these guys are just sitting sa mga Nike shops and you can go ahead and try them so that you know that the sizing will be right for you. Moving to your outer outsole guys you have this waffle outsole and yes you have it says beaverton oregon usa 97005 beaverton oregon this is ito yung lab or ito yung parang parang pinaka main office or main 
headquarters ng Nike. Waffle outsole provides very nice traction. Hindi siya kagaya ng mga J1s na talagang nag-iingay or what. Pero talagang ramdam mo dito yung traction. Ang pinaka nagustuhan ko dito is whenever you are using the sneaker, for example, on other terrains like grass or mezzo rocky or something, maganda ang traction niya because it provides that waffle-ish or that yung parang mezzo spike-ish traction here at the bottom. And that's one reason why ito yung ginamit ko sa Baguio. Also, this one does come with white laces off the bat, but I just included two other uh, laces with, which are orange and green, similar to what you find on your off-white sneakers. And then I just do change them off from time to time, depending kung anong trip ko. It adds a little more pop to the sneaker. And I do think na for 4,495 pesos, sobrang sulit ng sneaker na to. And although I am glad that this one is underrated because you can scoop them anytime sa mga Nike parks. And even dito sa SM Clerk, these guys are still sitting for four. Natatempt nga ako ng isa pa just to double up kasi you'll never know kasi dahil sobrang gusto ko siya, baka ma-wear out ko siya and uh, baka mahirapan ako makahanap in time. Although, these guys although come with several other colorways and one other colorway that I'm looking for would be the same black material or the same black upper with white tongue and then the white back tab over here. Inside the sneaker, you do, you do have this mesh sock liner similar to what you find on your Air Jordan 1 silhouettes. Actually, at first, it's rough. Siya. So if you're wearing no-show socks, medyo magkakaroon ka ng uncomfortable sensation dito. Pero as time goes by, medyo mag-ease uh, out din siya. Moving to your insole, you have a black insole with the Nike logo in white. So what I did was I taped it already para di na matanggal. However, uh, bad tape job. And by the way, I only use scotch tape. And uh, overall, these guys, yes, they are underrated. But again, trust me when I say these are these guys are very comfortable and they are a bang for your buck. So let's go ahead and lace these guys and see what they look on feet. So leave a comment down below of what you think of these sneakers right here. Is this a cup or is it a drop? Or are you one of those people that already know this and appreciates this? Thanks so much for checking on this video today, guys. And again, kung bago ka dito, make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. And if matagal ka na dito at all, thank you very much for sticking with me. So yun lang muna for the meantime. Thanks again for checking and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, guys. Mm-hmm.